Good morning and welcome to our Sunday worship. May I wish each and every one of you a very happy and a very peaceful new year. We come today on the Feast of the Epiphany in a few days time. We come with the Magi to bring our wonder, to bring our gifts, to bring our worship to a stable and to worship the King of Kings. I am delighted to be back among you. It is good to be back at work. Thank you for your good wishes and your prayers and your messages over the last number of weeks, Colin, and I very much appreciate your support. Today we celebrate in word and in sacrament the message of the Christmas story that at the heart of it is hope, hope in God and hope for the future. Let us worship God together. As we approach the communion table, we remember that Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. As we come to the Feast of Epiphany, we are reminded of these words from the prophet Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Nations shall come to your light and rulers to the brightness of your rising. signals the dawn of justice and peace. May his brightness illumine our lives and beckon all nations to walk as one in your light. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your word made flesh, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit in the splendour of eternal light, God forever and ever. God of glory, you sent Jesus among us to be the light of the world. 
to reveal your love for all people. We confess that our sin and pride hide the brightness of your light. We turn away from the poor. We ignore cries for justice. We do not strive for peace. And so in your mercy cleanse us of our sins and baptize us once again with your Spirit, that forgiven and renewed we may show forth your glory, shining in the face of Jesus Christ our Lord. O Christ, light made manifest as the true light of God, gladden our hearts on the joyful morning of your glory. Call us by our name on the day of your coming, and give us grace to offer with all the hosts of heaven unending praise to you, in whom all things find their beginning and their end, now and forever. Our reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1, and reading from the first verse. Let us hear the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. The word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. May God add his blessing to this reading of his holy word. Many of us will have been glad to see the back of 2020 for various reasons. The year of the pandemic, the year we will probably never forget. And yet it was a year also of hope, a year where we learned what it means to be community, a year where we learned to look out for one another, to look after our neighbour, and to be the Church of God through our words and through our actions in the communities we live and serve. And that, for me, was a great privilege. But the image you have in front of me was taken over the Christmas period too. It was taken in a Syrian refugee camp. A young mother 
and her child. Mary was also that frightened mother, the one who had to flee into Egypt to escape Herod and his tyranny. And this image in front of us is today. Families who are still in need of hope, in need of light, in need of justice. This mother probably comes from the same region that the Magi, the wise men, came from to visit the stable. They came, we are told, from the east. They were astronomers and they brought their gifts to the stable, to a cave probably, to worship the Christ child. And so I suppose if we need any lesson for 2021, it is that images like these should be done away as we pray for a world in which justice and peace, fairness, become that which is the norm. And we pray for that and we work towards that because that is the standard of God's kingdom. But not only for justice and peace far away, for justice and peace in our own communities, in our own homes, where we are. And so we commit ourselves in this new year, not only to the working out of our faith, but to pray for hope, to pray that something of the Christmas story can still touch us. That we have received indeed, as the gospel tells us, received grace upon grace. And that God has become known to us in the child in a manger. May I wish you and yours a very hopeful 2021.
may offer you a sacrifice in righteousness. And so out of the fullness of your gifts, O God, we make our offerings to you and present this bread and this wine at your table. For all things come from you and of your own do we give. Blessed be your holy name forever. Amen. Hear the words of the institution of the supper according to St. Paul. The tradition which I handed on to you came to me from the Lord himself. But the Lord Jesus on the night of his arrest took bread. And after giving thanks to God, broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way he took the cup after supper and said, This cup is the new covenant sealed by my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. And so as the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, I take these elements of bread and wine to be set apart from all common use to this holy use and mystery. And let us also draw near to God and offer him our prayers and our thanksgiving. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is truly right and our greatest joy to give you thanks and praise, God of majesty and splendour. By your power you created all that is, making a universe out of chaos and ruling over all things in love. Throughout the ages you called your people to love and serve you, and to be your light among the nations. When we failed you, you did not fail us and sent prophets to call us back to your ways. We praise you that in the fullness of time, you revealed your love by sending your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to be the light of the world. He came to heal our brokenness and to set before us the ways of justice and peace. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the faithful of every age and time, who forever sing to the glory of your name. We say together, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy, O God of majesty, and blessed is Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. He was born to dwell among us, full of grace and truth, and in him we have seen your glory. Baptized by John in the Jordan, he lived for you, spoke your truth, showed your love, and gave himself for others. In his death on the cross, he overcame death. Rising from the tomb, he raised us to eternal life and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. And so remembering your gracious acts in Jesus Christ, we take from your creation this bread and wine and joyfully celebrate his dying and rising as we await the day of his coming. With thanksgiving we offer our very selves to you, to be a living and holy sacrifice, dedicated to your service. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. 
Christ will come again. Gracious God, pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these your gifts of bread and wine. That the bread we break and the cup we bless may be the communion of the body and blood of Christ. By your Spirit make us one with Christ, that we may be one with all who share this feast, united in ministry in every place. As this bread is Christ's body for us, send us out to be the body of, of Christ in the world in this new year. Illumine our hearts, O God, with the radiance of Christ's presence, that our lives may show forth his love in this world. Teach us to befriend the lost, to serve the poor, to reconcile our enemies, and to love our neighbours. Keep us faithful in your service, until Christ comes in final victory, and we shall feast with all your saints in the joy of your eternal kingdom. We say together, through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour are yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. According to the Holy Institution command, and as a memorial of our Lord, we do this, who on the night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and said, Take and eat, this is my body which is broken for you, do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this in memory of me. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. Wherever you are this morning, I invite you to draw near with faith and receive now the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you, and his blood that was shed for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith, with thanksgiving. Who taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who find refuge in him. Take, eat. This is the body of Christ, broken for you. This cup is the new covenant sealed by Christ's blood, which was shed that the sins of many might be forgiven. Drink from it, all of you. Peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, wherever you are, this day and in this new year. And may the light of Christ on this feast of Epiphany go with us and before us. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the love which brings us food from heaven, the life of your dear Son 
and assures us that we belong to the company of all your faithful people, both on earth and in heaven. Grant that, strengthened by this fellowship and by the power of his Holy Spirit, we may continue his work in the world until we come to the glory of your eternal kingdom. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord.